Man, guys, oh man, welcome to the National Faction Association. I mean, NBA Basketball Association, man. Free agency is crazy. Breaking news with Kevin Durant and so much more on the Lewis Basketball. Hey, well, hey, yeah, yeah, nigga, bring the scale. Yeah. Pull up right now, boy. I'm at Lennox. Welcome to the Lewis Basketball Network, where you get nothing but basketball from the latest, man. As always, man, I appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch my videos, man. I am once again with another banger with yet another video. Wow. I just put up a video of free agency a few hours ago on basically what was going on around the league in terms of some of these signings. But breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Durant has re reported to agree in principle to a signing with the Brooklyn Nets, as reported by Adrian Wojnarowski, Watch the GOAT on ESPN. It is also rumored that Kyrie Irving is expected to also sign a four-year deal. I believe Kevin Durant is supposed to be, I have mentioned 142 on He Knows His Sports live stream, but it's actually for $164 million, while Kyrie Irving is going to sign, expected to sign a four-year $141 million deal. And it is also expected that DeAndre Jordan is supposed to join the Brooklyn Nets and they get him as well. Now, I think for Kevin Durant, I think a couple of reasons why he joined once again, I feel like for one, he was not happy with the Warriors in terms of misdiagnosing him with the injury and how they handle it. Again, I'm just saying what Kevin Durant is thinking. I'm not telling you on basically what I think about it and all that. This is from what I believe Kevin Durant is thinking. Also, he wants to prove that he can win a championship without forming, without uh, going to an already made team. He's building it from the ground up. That's This is the LeBron James theory, as his fanboys has always said fanboys and fangirls in terms of building teams from the ground up so i think from that aspect and also it's a rock nation move because remember he is signed with jay-z's label rock nation so we got to look into that factor as well um and to me ladies and gentlemen with the fact that anthony davis is with the lakers with the fact that the lakers have been aggressive in free agency trying to get possibly d'angelo russell you know Kawhi leonard is possibly meeting with these guys to me I think the league is trying to push low-key a Los Angeles Laker, Brooklyn Net, NBA Finals. Because remember, New the New York Knicks is the mecca because of Madison Square Garden in their history. But remember, the Brooklyn, Brooklyn may be the small-tier team in New York. They would be the New York Mets of the NBA. The only thing is... I'm, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go crazy because at least they made the playoffs where the Knicks haven't been relevant for such a long time. But let's be honest, man. I because Brooklyn is in New York. Think of the mass media. Think of the market. Think of the storyline. Think of the headlines that it's going to create. Okay, and the storyline it's gonna make with LA and New York. Think about that, ladies and gentlemen. LA and New York are the two biggest markets in the NBA. Okay. I'm just talking about NBA. Obviously, like in all 50 states, they're the two biggest markets, of course. But I'm just saying, like, in terms of, I'm just talking about basketball reasons. But uh, trust me, Stephen A has been praying for the, why do you think Stephen A has been praying so hard for the Knicks to get a star, for to get a superstar, to be a savior of a franchise that has been in sheer discrepancy, mediocrity, and fully embarrassed, okay? As in, put your bag over your head and decorate it just to show your frustration with the franchise for many years now. And now, Brooklyn has now had the chance to make a super team right now with the team that they have, potentially. The only thing is Kevin Durant is going to miss most of the next year. So I think that this is possibly, to me, it's a three-year plan. They're thinking long-term. I think short-term, it's can Brooklyn get to the next level with Kyrie Irving and with... Uh, DeAndre Jordan, which to me lets me know that D'Angelo Russell is out. Question is, is D'Angelo going to go to L.A. or is he going to go to Minnesota? Because he's been in talks with them. Jimmy Butler meeting with the Houston Rockets and the Miami Heat. I'm sorry, Jimmy Butler, in terms of his case, Miami really doesn't have the assets in order to be, to, in my opinion, to be able to make room for Jimmy Butler, which I think he personally is probably going to be a Houston Rocket and not come back as a Philadelphia 76er. We have to look at guys like J.J. Redick, where he may go. Tobias Harris, where he may go. Uh, Darren Collison just retired. Um, you know, if you also remember, uh, you know, what does this mean for Kawhi Leonard? You know, where is he going to go? I mean, we have to think about that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 
you know, a lot of a lot of things are just going on in free agency. And then Chris Middleton, ladies and gentlemen, getting a five year, one hundred ninety million dollar contract. That's that's a lot. That's that's a lot for a player for him. A 17 point per game score. No disrespect. Everybody deserves to get paid. But the fact that he's getting one hundred ninety million dollars, that's a ton of money. He's making more than Giannis Antetokounmpo. Now, in Giannis's case, I understand him in terms of his free agency status because he's not a free agent until, you know, I believe it's, a, I think in, what is it, in year, I don't remember what year, but let me know what year is Giannis a free agent. But, the, I, I'm, I listen, Chris Middleton is not worth $190 million for five years. I'm sorry. That's just me. Uh, Brooke Lopez is going to remain with the Bucks for four years, signing a $52 million deal. Um, let's see what else. Damian Lillard agreed in principle to a four-year, $196 million extension. In my opinion, the Blazers are handcuffing themselves, and I know that they had to keep Dame Lillard. I just don't see how the Blazers get better with this with this deal. Um, that's going to be tough with them. Um, Enes, Enes Cantor is actually talking with both the uh, the Blazers and he's going to talk with the Boston Celtics because ladies and gentlemen, Kemba Walker has agreed in principle for a four-year $140 million deal. And unlike Kyrie Irving, to me, Kemba Walker actually shows greater leadership than Kyrie Irving, which tells me why. And then on top of that, ladies and gentlemen, um, Terry Rozier decides to sign a three-year $58 million deal with the Charlotte Hornets decides to accept it. So he's going to get paid, as he said, you know, to play for the Charlotte Hornets. And, uh, I mean, when we look at it, man, Scary Terry says he's was worth $20 million a season. Well, he's going to get his opportunity. We'll just see if he's actually worth the money. But he chose a winning situation in Boston, even though they hadn't won anything, to now a more losing situation in Charlotte. And I'm going to say this again. Michael Jordan, I don't know what you're doing over there, man, but it's just not looking good on your part. In terms of that, Harrison Barnes accepts a four-year, $85 million deal with the Sacramento Kings, and they also picked up Dwayne Dedman as well. Uh, don't forget that Torian Prince is on the Brooklyn Nets. I mean, we have a lot of things going on, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and Derrick Rose. I mean... People are saying that he should be a Los Angeles Laker, but I don't like it for the fact that what LeBron did to him back in Cleveland uh, when he was there. So it's like, I just don't think it makes no sense on that aspect, you know. Um, and there was reports, as I already mentioned, like in my last video, that he is in talks with Detroit to possibly get a two-year deal uh, done to where he gets two years to play with Detroit and he gets to be paired up with Blake Griffin. Um, so what does this also mean for Carmelo Anthony? Is it possible that Carmelo could be picked up by a team where he could just fit in and help them with become a championship type team? Where does Carmelo fit in all this? That's another good question right there, you know, guys. You know, we got to think about that, too. Like, this free agency pool has been going crazy, man. Crazy. It is just cuckoo bananas. And also remember this, despite the fact that the New York Knicks um, have had losing seasons, they have been in the top 10 in attendance each and every year. Whereas the Brooklyn Nets were last in the NBA in attendance. That's gradually going to increase with Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant. You just brought star power, even though Kevin Durant is going to miss most of next year. Um, it's just unbelievable. And also think about this for the Golden State Warriors. Now that Kevin Durant's gone, they can retool their team with some flexibility. The only thing is, Klay Thompson is getting the max, obviously. But now that they can retool their team and become the pre-KD Warriors, man, get some depth. I think DeMarcus Cousins is going to take a good, uh, I think he's going to take, uh, you know, a decent contract to where he can prove himself to where he could try to earn max money. Um, you know, what does that mean for Draymond Green? I mean, do the, do the Warriors end up trading him? Uh, because now they can build around Clay and Steph once again. And like I said, this is this is why we have to congratulate the Golden State Warriors, guys. What they have done in terms of the landscape of the NBA, they have now garnered teams to build to win. At first, it was to build to knock the Warriors off, especially in the Western Conference. Now, teams are building to try to win a championship. Like, that's what the effect that the Golden State Warriors have had on the NBA. 
And like I said, Kevin Durant has helped the Warriors get two championships. So I think they'll be upset that he's gone, but they'll appreciate what Kevin Durant had did for the franchise. And like I said, don't be don't be reminiscent down the line. KD doesn't go back to Oklahoma City to end his career. So, you know, stay tuned for that. Um, but now Kawhi Leonard, we got to see what he does. And Kevin Durant was actually not fooling around. I mean, and things may have looked tricky, but hey, Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant made his decision pretty quickly. He didn't wait, didn't wait, didn't see. He decided to make his decision. And so we have to also see what Kevin Durant is going to do from injury. But I think this is a long time plan for the um, for the Brooklyn Nets. Um, but this is this is such a crazy free agency, man. So I just laid out a whole bunch of scenarios, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's crazy, and I'm pretty sure there's much more. And Vukovic is expected to sign for four years. I think it's a hundred million dollars to stay with the Magic. But like I said, keep your eyes on guys like JJ Redick, Tobias Harris, again Jimmy Butler. Um, are the Rockets going to trade Chris Paul? Like, yo, we got to look at all of these factors, man. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Lewis with another one. Let me know what you guys think of the comments, as always. Bless up. One love. Peace. Thanks for watching. DJ, man, for my subscribers, for this NBA free agency, free agency for the uncertainty, for the littiness, as you already know. The Ayatollah of rock and roller. To all of my Jericho holics, or should I say, Lua holics, hit that.